One baby at a time is enough for most families. But there's a herd at Chester expecting three at once. Come get your breakfast. The Banteng are endangered in the wild, with only 8,000 left in Indonesia and Cambodia. They are incredibly elusive, really mystical and just beautiful creatures. They look like they're wearing stockings, they've got really big eyelashes, they're just gorgeous. Chester currently has a herd of ten, but it's about to get a lot bigger, thanks to a certain male. Our dominant bull is Gaston. He is definitely a red-blooded male. He knows exactly what he's doing, what he's meant to do, and he's not shy about it. He's very smooth with the ladies. But at the minute, we have three pregnant females. Pankuri, Malua, and Mnea. They are actually due to give birth very close together. It could literally be within days of each other at this point. But there is a real concern about Nea. She gave birth a year ago, but struggled as a mum. Nea had difficulties bonding with her first calf. That initial relationship wasn't there straight away. And unfortunately, the calf it didn't make it. Uh, we do worry about that, so we are going to be super observant with Nea to make sure that it's all going well. Good girl. In the wild, Bantengs leave the safety of the herd to give birth alone. Come on. Come on, Laura. That's it. Good girl. Sweet. At Chester, the three expectant mums have their own separate carving pens. It's looking like Nea is going to give birth first. She's showing all the right signs. We're definitely into the final stage now, I think, really. Yeah. Tonight might be the night, really. It's 11 p.m. And all three mums are unsettled. Nea is going into labor. Every time an animal gives birth, there's always worries, there's always something that can go wrong. And to be honest, we just have to let nature take its course and just hope that it's all going to be OK. It's such a strain on the female. There is always a risk that if she stops pushing, it will really be high risk to the calf's life but equally, she may not survive either. Finally, after four hours, Nea gives birth to a baby girl. But the calf isn't out of danger yet. She needs to suckle from mum straight away. Without that first shot of colostrum, their immune system and their energy levels are both going to be compromised. They need to get up and get going. The newborn tries her best. But mum seems reluctant. If a mother isn't allowing a calf to suck up, it's quite often because maybe that mother's an inexperienced animal and she's just not quite got into the swing of things yet. That's something we'll just have to keep a really close eye on. The calf is exhausted and hungry. Only time will tell if Nea's maternal instincts will kick in. Whoa.